After four days off for stable practice, the tour returned to Kuki and to much Saitama excitement. Just look at the queue for photos with local man Hokuto Fuji. Which scarce diminished for half an hour and this changing of the guard. <laughs> After a surreal station experience, Sadanomi at the ticket gate, Chiyo Taidu and Yutakayama in Starbucks, and Uda by the vending machine, I was able to deliver more of your cards to And thank goodness for the mesh bag, revealing the pink envelope I clearly use. During warming up time, Wakatakakage has a no-fan interaction rule, strictly enforced by his trembling attendant. In fact, he avoids fan contact to the point of nigh camouflaging himself in the trees while sneaking out towards his taxi at the day's end. But when you see how pestered wrestlers are at these events, you understand him and respect even more the men who respond to every tiresome request. Takakage was involved in the day's main highlight, which began with this set piece. Mitake Umi, for the second tour date straight, going out of his way to ensure something heavy hit Shodai, who first fired back with verbals, then angry gestures, then pronounced glares, before finally getting on with the job. Some fans complain that Shodai is aloof, but he can't go on as in pre Ozeki days. The cloudy face is all part of high rank demeanor. He's as warm as that ranking allows. Other talking points involved this case of mistaken identity, <laughs> both referee and announcer confusing winner with loser, Perhaps divine compensation for Chio Oga, who was wrongly read out as Chio Taiga in Chikusei. We then had the case of the forgotten Dohyo side. Even impassive Takayasu cracking up. And we had this surprising breakage of pattern. Tochikamiyama, the first man this tour 
to lose before a home crowd. But he was far from the star attraction, and so long as the top Saitamans won, all would rejoice. And rejoice, all did.